Hey internet! So here is another episode of my Monday History of Fashion videos. If you'd like to catch up on any of the other episodes that you may have missed, I will link them in the information bar down below and I've created a playlist for your convenience so you can watch back-to-back -back episodes of me talking at you about history. But I'm actually really enjoying this series. It's just so much fun to do my little research project on something that I find really interesting and then share it with you in seven simple facts. So today's seven historical facts will be about prescription glasses and sunglasses. And I want to talk about both in the same video because I feel like their historical development has been very parallel. Um, just the idea of wearing frames on your face to either protect your eyes from the sun or improve your vision um, took a while to develop. Let's go way, way back in time. So the first prescription lenses were first actually mentioned by Emperor Nero's tutor. This was around the first century AD, so seriously a long time ago. So Emperor Nero's tutor literally wrote that small letters could be seen by looking through a glass filled with water. So that suggests to us that the earliest prescription lens, single lens, was actually a glass filled with water and that they figured out that that essentially has a distortive effect that allows you to see things closer up, small things closer up, which is really kind of neat that we have that historically recorded. For our second fact, which relates to the development of an actual lens, the kicker is that it actually relates to the same person. So our first fact was about Emperor Nero's tutor. For our second fact, it's actually Emperor Nero himself, who apparently is recorded as having enjoyed to watch gladiatorial games through a carved emerald, which is pretty fabulous, right? For our third fact, let's turn to sunglasses. And who invented sunglasses is extremely controversial, and I don't have a clear-cut answer for you, but I do have some interesting facts. So although small carved smoky quartz lenses are recorded all the way back in 12th century China, some people actually argue that the original sunglasses were actually developed way before that by Inuit people who had snow goggles. Although those weren't actually carved lenses, they essentially filtered out a maximum amount of sun so that your eyes wouldn't get burned because against the snow, this is sun is just so incredibly bright. So there's two conflicting ideas that are going on, but it's likely that actually they may both have been true. So the oldest depiction of prescription lenses is from 1352. That depiction of someone wearing actual lenses, so, so one piece of glass over each eye connected by a wire, is by an artist called Tommaso de Modena. The more interesting part of that is that that painting was actually of Cardinal Hugh of Provence studying scripture. The curious part of that is that when that painting was created by Tommaso de Modena, Cardinal Hugh was actually long dead. During his lifetime, glasses that looked like that actually didn't even exist, they hadn't been invented yet. So we now theorize with hindsight that Tommaso de Modena essentially superimposed glasses on Cardinal Hugh to make him appear more wise and more scholarly because at that time glasses were already becoming associated with being more intelligent because by by then, they were widely available and they were mostly worn by clergy. So our fifth fact actually relates to the commercialization of glasses. So although they were available in India apparently for a long time, or at least it seems to be recorded that way, the true commercialization of glasses actually occurred in Pisa in Italy. And the driver behind that was someone called Friar Alejandro de Aspina. And he had a true belief that everybody should have glasses available to them because it would improve their quality of life. So he was really ahead of his time when it came to thinking about prescription lenses. I want to acknowledge the influence of someone else who had a big effect on the development of prescription lenses and that was actually Benjamin Franklin because he notoriously had terrible eyesight. He actually invented bifocals when he was in London in 1760. Finally, for our seventh fact, I want to tell you a little bit more about the modern popularization of glasses and sunglasses. So the modern popularization of sunglasses actually began in the 1920s. The architect behind that was a street vendor and his name was Sam Foster 
and he figured out that it would be a real little money maker to sell simply made sunglasses along the Atlantic City boardwalk and he was very successful in doing so. In 1937, the US Air Force accepted a commercial proposal by a then unknown startup called Ray-Ban and they had invented essentially a very lightweight um, design of sunglasses that they called the Aviator after its purpose at the time which then became hugely commercially successful. Despite those two developments, it wasn't really until a little bit later Later, that sunglasses became truly fashionable and the reason behind that was actually somewhat practical in that movie stars started wearing them all the time because the flash bulbs that were constantly aimed at them by reporters and on movie sets were extremely bright they were much brighter than the bulbs that you and I are used to today so they were actually used to protect their eyes but because they happened to be famous then sunglasses really started to catch on and be interpreted by various designers and became essentially entrenched as an iconic fashion accessory so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video so now usually if you've watched some of my other episodes of my history of fashion videos you know that after my seventh historical fact I, I turn to some key buying tips and purchasing tips and some of my favorites that I share with you at the end of the video. But today I'm not going to do that and I have a good reason as to why I'm skipping out on you when it comes to those three facts, which is that you're going to get a whole lot more than three facts on Friday, the Friday of this week. Please keep an eye out in your subscription boxes because I will be purchasing some new glasses. The ones that I'm wearing right now are too old and scratched and bent and so I need a new pair and I'm going to go shopping for a pair and I'm going to take you with me because I'm going to be going to a new store that's being opened by a friend of mine and we're gonna pick out some glasses for me and you guys will get to see the whole process of that get to see what I picked and hear his tips and his story um, about those glasses so please keep an eye out for that I'm super super excited about that video and sharing it with you I hope you enjoyed this one it's a fun little introduction to that Friday video in a way thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye